So macro, we've got a ton of stuff going on. So vet, you've been talking a lot about U.S. Treasury yield curves. So followed up by the 25 basis points annou announcement, you were talking about the banks feeling pressure. So how do you think that yeah. this is going to reflect on Bitcoin's price moving forward this year? Is there anything that like really sticks out to you on the charts that would support your thoughts as it relates to that? I really tried to find something to stick out on the charts, uh, and I'll go over that in just a second. But uh, coming back to your question, the reason why I was bearish earlier is exactly uh, coming back to yield curves and everything that the Fed is doing right now. Okay. Um, when we think about um, the banks kind of going down, you know, why are the banks failing? You know, there's tons of arguments: fractional reserve lending, you know, bad uh, investments from SVP. But whatever the case is, in the end, you know, the Fed is uh, in charge of basically keeping the swings from being way too bad going one way or the other, right? And obviously right now we are seeing that pressure as this bank run is coming about, whatever the actual cause is. So the reason I'm bearish is because of the Fed. And that is definitely only in the short term. And like when we go into the macro, there's a couple different scenarios that we can go into as to, uh, you know, if we do have more QE, if we don't, if the Fed does pivot. And all of these do have different outcomes that would be highly more likely. So I'll go ahead and share my screen. Yeah, pull and, it up. And let's yeah. take a peek at it. There's so much going on with the Fed that is going to absolutely either wreck us or, well, I think we're wrecked either way. But, you know, you we'll talk about it. Let's yeah. So, um, I'll go ahead and head over to the treasury curve. So the, the main thing is, is what the hell is a yield curve and you know why is this important? Well, if we look at treasury yields, this is staking. This is government staking and this is how companies can put money in and hopefully get paid back a guaranteed rate from the government. Right? It's hey, that, hold on, one, hold on one second. Hold on one second. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Am I, I'm getting a bunch of feedback somewhere. Are you guys, are you guys hearing that or is it just I me? did hear it, yeah. Okay. It's coming off some. Are you muted right now, Vet? Well, it's not pretty, when I'm talking. <laughs> I, I mute my mic. I try when I'm not. Okay. Talking. All right. Yeah. Okay. C continue that. Sorry. It was, it was pretty, it was pretty loud. All okay. right. Is there any feedback right now? Not right now. Uh -uh. Okay. Perfect. Right, yeah. Yeah. So going over uh, the yield curves, it's like, what is it? Well, this is basically where companies, people, anybody can buy something with a government backing, it's... right? And these can be six months, two years, 30 years. They're treasuries guaranteed by the government, supposedly. So what does it mean uh, if it's inverted? So well, let's go ahead and look at like what normal is. So if we look at normal, we have, hey, if you only stake something for six months or you buy a six month bond, you're only gonna get 2%, right? If you believe in something, you would put more money in for a longer period of time locked in to get higher rates. So that's what a, like a good economy is. We, you know, we're, we're booming, we got money coming in, people are lending, everything's good to go, right? Well, where are we at right now? We're exactly the opposite. So what does that mean? That just means that we are not very prosperous at this time. And we don't think that we have high hopes that five, seven, 10 years from this date, we're gonna have good investing. So what do we do? We do quick turnarounds and we see an inverted yield curve. And the reason this is important is statistically, I think it's about six out of seven, or it might even be a hundred percent. I just don't wanna be off. Uh, the last time we have had inverted yield curves, it has been a predecessor for a recession. It's the chief indicator for a recession coming in the immediate future. So the reason I think this is a problem is because with the pivot and the Fed doing these rate hikes, we have, uh, you know, the banks struggling to actually have money and to actually lend money. So what does this do? This constricts the economy. The economy cannot grow. At this rate, then we have problems with wages. We then have problems with unemployment. We then have problems just, just drastically around that the Fed, again, is supposed to take care of. So this leads us on a, a route, like what's gonna happen here immediately? If we look at what happened during COVID, this is the kind of zoom in here. This is COVID. Everything right here was looking good, man. It was prime. We were about to take off. This happened. We actually had an inverted yield curve right beforehand, right? Predecessing that we did have some recession during this time, right? Did we have it here? Ah, very, very, like very briefly, but in the sense, it just, you know, that was out of nowhere, a black swan event. So as we come up to now, why do I think the Fed hikes are still really bad? We have zero volume since we started having no QE, mm. right? This is the first time. Bitcoin as a whole, the last time we had an inverted actual yield curve that had a true recession was before Bitcoin. We're talking like 98, 2008 briefly. These times, Bitcoin never experienced. So my fear is, is people trying to survive. This is us. These are all of us traders here. This is, you know, Lifer, Magic Internet. This is all. This is us. Who else is coming in? We're not having a huge influx of people. 
these big red bars here are influxes of people getting out and we're buying it. Yeah. So as we come into regulation in the Fed, the Fed only cares about the banks. They're going to save the banks because if they the banks go under, they go under. So we're going to go back to more counterfeiting or as I, or QE, whatever you want to call it. You know, <laughs> we can't do that bullshit, but they can. Right. So as we move into that, you know, this this really puts us in a tight place. So I'm like, you know, life and saying, you know, we're doing short term things, you know, three to five days because who the hell knows what's going to happen next? 